In the next few weeks, something really neat will be appearing in the night sky. A green comet will be visible from Earth, and it hasn't been seen on this planet in thousands of years. Our Krista Rose has more on this cool comet and how you can see it. If you wanted to see a comet every day, you'd have to come to a place like the Buell Planetarium here at the Carnegie Science Center. But if you want to see a comet that only comes around, say, once every 50,000 years, well, then you're going to have to go outside the next few weeks. NASA defines a comet as a large space object made out of dust and ice that orbits the sun. And of course, comets are best known for their long streaming tails. This particular comet was discovered by astronomers in San Diego back in March of 2022, and its technical name from NASA is Comet 2022-E3-ZTF. But most people are calling it the Green Comet. Kayla Wagman from the Carnegie Science Center says that it's called the Green Comet because of the color it puts off as it revolves around the sun. So that green color is coming from some compounds that we're finding in the comet, mostly diatomic carbon and cyanogen that are found in there. As those get close to the sunlight, that's what's giving us that green color. On its voyage through the inner solar system, the Green Comet will be at its closest point to the Sun tonight and then at its closest point to Earth on February 1st. And while the brightness of comets can be notoriously unpredictable, KDK meteorologist Ron Smiley says that you might be able to start seeing the Green Comet show up in the sky in just a few days. Generally this time of the year we see a lot of cloud cover. The days that I'm hopeful that we're going to see some breaks in the clouds, Sunday morning, Monday morning, no rain chances there. Temperatures will be down, but it looks like right now pretty good viewing uh, for any type of star view, uh, viewing or gazing will happen on those days. Though it may be a chilly stargazing event around these parts the next few weeks, it may also be a once in a lifetime chance to see something historically cool before it's gone. Reporting at the Buell Planetarium at the Carnegie Science Center, Krista Rose, KDKA News.